All right, hostas. So in this video, I want to talk to you a little bit more about properties. So basically what we're going to be doing is we already know that we can create a window. And once we have a window, we can add widgets to it. Now, widgets are just any item or thing that you add to it, like a button, um, like a slider, a progress bar, a menu, you know, basically anything that people want to add to their windows. Now, once you have a widget on there, you can adjust it using its properties so properties of items are different depending on the item but they're like its color the text that's on it you know the size of it the angle whatever so we have a window widgets the widgets have properties and not only can you set different properties for different widgets but you can also get the properties of them so say that you have some label and you wanted to you know get the text of it or get the angle from it you can do that as well so instead of me just blabbering, I'll show you guys an example. So let me just make a real quick widget and I'm just gonna make a label which is essentially just text on the screen. And I'll just call it label and set it equal to GTK dot label. All right, so we have a label. This is just a blank label. Um, You know, there's just, this is text but right now it's just blank so let's just actually set some text for it so label set label and i'll just write yeah like omg i think the new boston is awesome all right so this label has a property of label which is kind of weird i probably should have started with something else but there you go let's go ahead and set another property so set um I'll just angle it as well. So you know most text that appears in your GUI is just, you know, exactly horizontal left and right. You can also angle it if you want. And let me angle this by 30 degrees. So the text that appears is going to be kind of crooked. So I don't know. Maybe if you wanted some cool kind of effect like you're going uphill or something. I don't know. All this crap's popping in my brain right now. And uh yeah, that eh, I might as well set one more. So set H line. Now we'll talk more about layouts and how things are aligned, but for this, I'll just want to make sure that it looks all right. So I'll just write align end. All right. So we saw that you can create an item and items or widgets can have properties. Now, once you're done adjusting your item exactly how you want it, how you want it to appear, then you always need to add it to the screen. So in order to add things, just write window. So what do you want to do to your window? Well, I want to add something. All right, what do you want to add to it? Well, we only have one thing to add, and that is the label. So now if you run this, check it out. We got this awesome window that has a label in it, and how does your label appear? Well, we just set all those properties, essentially just, you know, angled, nothing that great. Now, like I said, we can set properties or tell the label how to look and behave, but we can also get properties. So what if we we're making this program that, I don't know, allowed users to make text in funny ways, and we wanted to see what angle they had set. Well, what we can do is we can call label, and see before we were setting properties, set, 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 well, anytime we want to get the value of a property, just write get properties right there. What properties do you want to get? Angle. So this is going to get the angle, get the value of it, which is 30, and check it out. So it says 30 right there. So now we can use that, and this pops up like before. So now we can use that and incorporate it into our program however we want. But now we know a little bit more about how the overall basic you know, programs are set up and the different things that we can do, AKA add items to them. And we also know how to set and get properties. So now that we got that out of the way in the upcoming tutorials, we're gonna be going over more widgets and I'll show you guys some really cool properties that you can add or you know change on them too. So looking forward to that. I'll see you guys next video.